And we're ready to create our fabric. Now, before we do that, since we're done with the frames, remember to unhide the glasses for the frame. So right click, unhide all so that we have the glasses before the frames. Don't forget to do that. So let's create the fabric material. I'm going to open the material editor again, and I'm going to create again, another arc in design. Let's rename this. The reflectivity of a fabric has to be very low. If you want to have a shiny fabric, okay, but it can't be too reflective and the glossiness also has to be very, very low. Otherwise, it's going to look like your fabric is wet. Okay, so I'm going to use a reflectivity of O2 and the glossiness of O3. So as you can see, it's very subtle. We don't want anything screaming glossiness and shine in a fabric material. I'm going to choose the color. For this, I want something like a dark blue, like so. And we're going to plug in a bump map. Now the bump map, if you don't remember, is just a texture that will give an illusion of an additional modeling that is not really there. So we want to give that fabric kind of texture and we're going to do that with the bump map. So I'm going to plug in a bitmap and I'm going to choose a fabric texture. It has to be black and white because it's better for the results of the bump map. If you choose a texture that is not black and white, max is going to turn black and white in the render. So I'm going to open this. And in here we can see the result a bit. I'm going to increase this bump. So I'm going to scroll down on the material. And in here we have a bump of 03. I'm going to put something like 08. And then let's select the objects and apply the material. So I'm going to select those, apply the material, and then we're going to test render this. So let me just choose a camera and test render. So here we are. I like the color, but I don't like the way the material looks. So let's change a few things. First, I think the bump map might be a little too big. So I'm going to open the map and on the tiling, I'm going to increase this to something like three by three. In the material, I'm going to lower this bump a little bit, something like 05. And I'm also going to change the reflectivity and the glossiness. I'm going to put the reflectivity to 15 and the glossiness to 0.2. So very discreet, and I'm going to try and render this again to see if it looks better. There you go, looks a lot better. Now we have a lot of noise, but we're going to fix this in the final render. So for now, this is the process to create the fabric. In the next clip, we are going to focus on the curtain.